is it fair to say that people who join the federal bench or are nominated and join the Supreme Court are more likely to be differential to authority, otherwise they wouldn't have uh, been uh, nominated in the first place? You know, I think we have to kind of get get a bit more of a kind of differentiated view. Um, it's certainly true that there's no way to achieve that outcome without having friends in one of the political parties. Um, and that usually means um, government service uh, on one of the two teams in American politics before further appointment uh, to the bench. A great example of that would be Justice Elena Kagan, who served in the executive branch and then as Solicitor General uh, before she was appointed to the Supreme Court. And you might suppose that that means that those who are eligible for nomination are already conformist to an important extent. Um, you know, some of us long for a day in which um, there were other criteria for Supreme Court appointment than the ones that prevail now, but, you know, never were radicals appointed to the Supreme Court. There was always a certain amount of, um, you know, uh, success within the mainstream of politics, um, uh, or at least within the legal profession, um, and usually within a party structure. Now that said, um, you know, you can't deny that there are some justices who after appointment, when they have no real check on them, other than their consciences, um, move in quite interesting and unexpected directions um, and throw off the expectations that are placed upon them by those who appoint them. A, a good example, maybe the best, would be Justice David Souter, who retired a few years ago, um, who was appointed by George Bush the first and was expected to help overrule Roe v. Wade, but um, really became one of the most principled liberals in, in, in the midst of a reactionary Supreme Court. So um, I would say we have to grant to those who are on the court a certain amount of credit when they, um, when they are led by the, their freedom to, to hew to their conscience rather than the expectations that have been placed upon them by the powerful who have put them there.